During a nearly four-hour-long public hearing, New Hampshire's Commission on Law Enforcement Accountability, Community and Transparency heard testimony from the general public and former law enforcement officials. We have to get to the root cause of what can cause these violent acts, which is racism and bullying. Janet Hadley Chaplin, a former chief of police in Bartlett, says a failure to address the frequent trauma law enforcement experience should be a factor in treating police corruption. We do a terrible, terrible job of taking care of the mental and emotional health of all of our good officers. And this has a direct effect on the community and the, uh, that the officer serves. While New Hampshire law enforcement receives standard training across the board, some officials believe continuous training is needed for officers, particularly when it comes to understanding the role implicit bias can make when responding to a case. So that our law enforcement officers, when they go out, recognize that they may be predisposed to treating some people differently because of the color of their skin or because of their uh, sexual orientation. There's all sorts of biases that people may have that they are not even aware of. Officials also recognize that implicit bias training is not the end-all be-all tool for behavioral protocol. De-escalation techniques, the use of dialogue and critical thinking, um, and these soft skills, I'll call them the soft skills of policing, um, those I, I pert and I'm speaking for myself right now, but those are skills that we need to be able to show proficiency in, just like a handgun. The commission, which originally had 45 days to conduct meetings and present findings to the governor, says it is strongly considering asking for an extension. Mike Cherry, WMUR News 9.